Yo, what up? It's just Mike in another episode of the ABV. Pretty quick review. Uh, I'm drinking one of the beers off of my beer list, uh, being at his Craft Beer Friday. And uh, it's one of the beers, one, actually one of the last beers I picked up off of my beer list. And it's an Imperial Stout. And it's uh, Samuel Smith's Imperial Stout. Now this one is a little more higher ABV, 7.0% alcohol by volume. And the thing about it is that traditionally these type of stouts were brewed with a higher ABV so they can make the track over the Baltic Sea into Russia. And it was for usually like Russian royalty and stuff like that. Uh, so the higher ABV will keep the beer from freezing. And of course, like you don't want no frozen beer. I mean, you know, it's for royalty and you want to get it there and you don't want it to be frozen and flat. So, um... That's a little something about that, but uh, I've been drinking this beer, as you see, I already popped it, and uh, it's a pretty solid beer, man. Um, what I'm liking about this beer is that even though it's an Imperial Stout, and I don't know if it's just maybe this brewery, but this is more smoother, though. It's like a real smooth taste, um, and then also... But the thing is, you can smell alcohol content. You definitely smell alcohol content when you try this beer. But it's just really, it's a really like mild, smooth taste. It almost reminds me of a oatmeal stout. But the consistency, when you drink this, it's almost like hot chocolate. I mean like that smoothness. It's really thick, really silky on the mouthfeel. It's not that big, even though it does has does have hops in it. It's not like this big bitter bomb. It's just like nice, smooth coating, and there is a taste of like a very light kind of like mocha kind of a chocolate. <clears throat> Maybe not like a milk chocolate, but like a mocha and. Um, there's not like a heavy, heavy like coffee content on this beer. There, it's like you know how most stouts are kind of like that heavy, like like coffee kind of a taste and dark and bitter, and then that roasted and chocolate notes. With this one, it's more smoother, carbonated, light. Then with a silky like mocha kind of a taste. So it is a good beer, man. Um, it's a definite two thumbs up for me. Um, I don't know if this is a more milder version of a Imperial Style, being that it's my first one. But I know Samuel Smith, I know they usually brew like a more, I guess, like a more medium body beer, more cohesive type of beer. So I don't know if they like, like went like and make sure that everything was like really put together on a nice medium scale. But this one right here, man, is definitely good. And uh, it's not even that cold. Like, I think this was like about at 50. And I wanted to let it like open all the way up so I can taste every single thing in it. Usually I like to have my beers around like 40 to 45. But I said, you know, I want to let this one open up. But I'm telling you, man, this beer is a great tasting beer. I've, I've had their oatmeal stout. And to me, this is better than that to me it's better than their oatmeal stout um you get a lot of good mocha notes on this one not like bitter baking chocolate but more like a mocha creamy smooth kind of a texture and this is a beer that's pretty good so for the style i definitely got to give it a two thumbs up for it coming from samuel smith's i give it a two thumbs up so you know if it's out it's out there and it's pretty affordable so if you guys run across it, especially during the winter time right now, uh, pick it up, man. So it's the Samuel Smith's Imperial Stout, 7.0% ABV. I definitely mess with it, and y'all should too. So until the next time, enjoy your brews. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this one, and I'll get back with you guys later. It's all kind of good, man. I'm telling you. All right, man.